Namolai Daja ki pardin lama rida jinkur jantsu chabda Kajin tsungba me bi terchambo cho ki shabji dulchi ma me bala Govi rabdu dute gosum kupa jimbi chancer sing jabsu chiwo Dadon simjian tamjiji ju chinji labur zedu sol Paldin zave lama rimbo che dagi chiwurpe me dejula. Kajin chimbugone je zonte kusung tuje ngudrupzaldu sol. Wenna namkata nyambe semjian tamjian namjian lana mepa yang dapa zobe sanjiju kumpar bochala. Gopar cha te yi che du talam tambi chu sammon che pa la chu nyimbi kunlong da kujo nambara da pe sen sar te la kang sambara cha vi chu ne Hello everyone Your Eminence, Your Venerable Rinpoche, Venerable uh, lamas, Gelungmas, monks and nuns, dear brothers and sisters in the Dharma. Nice to see you all well and looks very relaxed and happy in this uh, quite uh, difficult uh, time uh, of uh, pandemics entire world is uh, affected by it so you look like doing well that's wonderful and uh, today's uh, subject is uh, inner peace uh, when uh, our subject is uh, titled as a uh, inner peace then the uh, other side of the inner peace is outer peace. 
So uh, many times uh, we um, somehow uh, get a little bit uh, mixed up uh, about uh, inner peace and outer peace. Uh, outer peace is uh, something that everybody experience and the inner peace is uh, what an individual experience. Individuals in the peace will be heard and seen and felt by others, of course. But uh, it will be quite uh, 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 different between the person who reached the inner peace and uh, those of others who are experiencing somebody else's inner peace or its uh, effect. So now uh, let's uh, uh, look into this. Of course, uh, in a uh, philosophical and uh, uh, religious, uh, then uh, uh, it is uh, uh, something that everybody know. I think, such as Nirvana, uh, Buddhahood. Uh, etc., uh, or uh, pure land, pure realm, uh, etc. So these things uh, uh, describe the outer peace as well as inner peace. If this world becomes uh, uh, a pure land, then that is uh, outer peace. Uh, but uh, 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 for somebody like uh, me, uh, in my kind of mentality and thinking, uh, which is through, I think, uh, uh, my experience in life so far, uh, the, uh, to transform this whole world into a pure land is... Uh, I can't say impossible because I can't believe in impossible. I don't believe in impossible. Uh, having said that, then uh, there should be some use for this word impossible, which is in the dictionary, every dictionary, Oxford, everywhere. So, so we have to use it somewhere. <clears throat> and uh, that should be one of the uh, use of the, the word impossible. Because uh, uh, to transform this whole world uh, from North Pole to South Pole, uh, from East to West, uh, everywhere, uh, transform everything into a pure land, uh, uh, totally uh, for everybody, uh, that is just a wonderful prayer. And other than that, uh, 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 it is uh, very hard uh, for me to uh, uh, be uh, very serious about it in a technical, uh, time-bound uh, manner. Uh, of course, I keep on praying, of course. Uh, then, uh, but uh, individual peace, that is absolutely, absolutely uh, uh, not only possible, but that is a destiny, individual peace. Uh, uh, individual peace by definition is when you feel so content and you feel so confident that no matter what, you are not going to be affected by it in a negative manner. Everything will affect you in a positive manner. If there is a fire, it will be the, the, the uh, you will be the fuel. 
If there is a water, you will be the fish. If there is a wind, you will be the bird. And if there is a, if there is a, a, a mountain, uh, you will be the, 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 be, the, be the uh, rocks inside the mountain, and so on and so forth. If there is a space, you will be sun and moon and stars. And uh, so there's nothing that can affect you uh, negatively. And uh, uh, that is absolutely possible for each one of us. And I am quite sure each one of us up to today uh, there was moments, or even uh, long moments. Long moments makes minutes and hours and days and weeks and months where we experience these. Yes. And uh, some people experience these, uh, uh, you know, uh, 365 days a year, round. Uh, 24 hours round. Uh, yes, but they are a true yogis. And uh, uh, most of us, including me, uh, try to be one. And sometimes uh, sort of uh, manage and sometimes uh, 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 slip back like climbing a mountain of uh, sand. You climb 10 uh, steps. Uh, you slide back nine, uh, sometimes nine and uh, uh, three quarter. No, but it, actually you achieved something. And then you go on and you go on and you go on and uh, uh, you think you didn't get uh, uh, much further because you are looking at the top of the hill. But when you look Back, actually, uh, you climbed about a uh, few hundred feet already. So, uh, so like that. Sometimes a bit scary because uh, you came so far and uh, uh, the destination is a bit far away. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you look back, it is a bit scary. So, uh, like that can happen, of course. That is individual peace, which I'm talking about. So individual peace, uh, and uh, uh, then the uh, outer peace, inner peace, outer peace. We have to differentiate between these two. Now, uh, uh, the uh, inner peace is very important for me, for you, individually, very important. We must achieve some aspect of inner peace, at least in the experience level. When we say inner peace, then we should be able to know what we mean. Uh, then uh, when we say outer peace, then all of us know what we mean, because uh, we saw what is not peace, you know? So uh, when uh, we are uh, over with them, then it will be peace. So that part we are quite good at uh, doing and saying uh, all kind of things about the outer peace. Uh, I am uh, one of them uh, who uh, started long back and still uh, try to do things because uh, because uh, you can see what is not. Therefore, uh, you can also uh, uh, guess and uh, perceive uh, what could it be. So uh, that way, uh, outer peace. Uh, now, both inner peace and outer peace is actually what life is all about and what uh, everything is all about, I believe. And as a, a practitioner of Vajrayana Buddhism, what Buddha Dharma is all about for sure and what Vajrayana uh, teaching of Buddha is for sure 
absolutely. That is for both outer peace and inner peace. And uh, uh, I may, I will add into that by saying it is more like achieving inner peace first and that way then uh, 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 outer peace you know, for which one will contribute. And uh, uh, as you are pursuing the inner peace, uh, then uh, uh, outer peace is also, uh, uh, at the same time, uh, it is uh, evolved. So, uh, so that, that way, uh, I have a, a simple example for it. Uh, you might say, I am one of the 7.8 billion human beings on this earth. And uh, what difference can I make? Uh, whether I have uh, achieved some sense of uh, contentment, some sense of uh, confidence, uh, how can this affect? I give you an example, very simple. <clears throat> it can be a huge, huge uh, pool of uh, water. Let's say a lake. A, a, a sizable lake and uh, you are a, a, a drop of blue color or green color or red color uh, any color and but those colors are nice you know purple uh, they are nice color so uh, you can be any of those uh, color but a drop uh, maybe make a little bit more a glass of uh, uh, color. And uh, when you pour in it, uh, then, uh, then uh, that entire uh, pool or the lake or the pond becomes a uh, uh, little bit uh, green, little bit blue, little bit purple, little bit yellow, little bit red for sure. If not, then if you pour, pour a billion cups glass of color, uh, it will not make it any difference. It will not make any difference. So if one doesn't make the difference, a billion doesn't make difference. So one is a billionth of one, and uh, uh, one is uh, uh, making a difference, therefore a billion will make a difference. So, of course. But uh, uh, magnitude of the effect depends on how deep your inner peace is. For example, <clears throat> a great arhat, uh, like uh, Ananda, uh, like uh, Rahul, uh, like uh, uh, all of these uh, thousands and thousands of Arhat, uh, disciples of Buddha Shakyamuni. So uh, uh, they are uh, uh, affected by the enlightenment of Buddha Shakyamuni, which uh, in Theravada uh, practice, uh, uh, described as uh, uh, Tathagata Arhat Samyak Sambuddh, so Arhat. And so that way, all of these great Arhats are the effect of the Buddha Shakyamuni. Uh, and uh, in, in Theravada teaching the highest effect. And uh, as a result of their effect, see right now, all of us from all parts of the world, nine language, uh, uh, learning the teaching of Buddha, even for a short while, that's what we are doing. And all of you doing full time. You are, you are part and parcel of the Dharma Center, Dharma community over there. So that way, you know, its effect is uh, very obvious. Uh, uh, the, so that, that way, individual's effect 
uh, for uh, entire uh, humanity uh, is uh, uh, very much uh, evident. Then uh, we can say, how can uh, individual uh, effect uh, of human being uh, can affect the uh, uh, entire uh, six realms of sentient being, from gods in the heaven to the beings in the hell, all the animals, or all size and shape and forms uh, of animals. So how can this affect everyone? Of course, because uh, each and every one of us uh, are coming from all the realms. Uh, I am not saying I remember. Then I will be a charlatan because I am not. I don't like to be so many things. Out of which one of the things that I really don't like to be is a charlatan. You know, because I am a religious uh, a teacher, Dharma teacher. And then uh, uh, most uh, uh, closest uh, possibility uh, for me uh, to become is a charlatan. Uh, if I say I see past, I see the future, I can see uh, uh, your past and your future, uh, then you will be thrilled. And uh, I can uh, uh, make a, a lots of uh, 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 relative temporary impact, good or bad, I don't know, but in all of your life. So it is a, a very easy possibility, ready-made possibility, but uh, I don't like to be because uh, in, uh, uh, in my understanding, of history of Dharma, sacred Dharma. Uh, there isn't uh, uh, that much of damage happened in the history of Dharma. Uh, because of that, we still have the precious lineage. We still have so many wonderful things. Uh, but uh, all the damage uh, that happened, you know, all the uh, deterioration that took place, it is not coming from the followers. It is not coming from the disciples. It is coming from the charlatans who, who sit up here and uh, uh, talk down. And so, uh, so there, uh, the, the mm, uh, uh, disintegration and uh, mm, all of the shortcomings uh, and uh, 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 contamination of the pure lineage all comes from uh, oh, way up here. So that way, uh, that way, uh, that is uh, uh, not, it's not that, not only that I don't want to be, but I dare not be. Uh, so uh, Dharma is so precious, and anybody who contaminates it and destroys it is uh, uh, terrible, and uh, uh, for me, uh, I don't want to have anything to do with it whatsoever, uh, consciously, knowingly, you know? Uh, so that, that, that way, I don't mean I remember, I don't mean I remember your past life, I don't mean any of that. But having said that, then now I can talk, you know. So um, having said that, then each one of us have been uh, 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 all kind, have been uh, from all kind of shapes and forms of sentient beings, from the gods in the heaven uh, to the asuras, titans. Uh, it sounds uh, it sounds nice, right? Then from animals, uh, some of them sounds uh, nice. They uh, have been uh, uh, dinosaurs, especially, uh, uh, you know, uh, Tyrannosaurus rex, um, like that. Uh, qu quite, uh, uh, quite powerful and uh, impressive. Uh, uh, and uh, then lions and tigers and uh, elephants and uh, uh, deer and all, all kind of uh, beings like that. Uh, we, I, I associate with them with uh, uh, admiration. 
Uh, but then uh, not only that, you know, we cannot be choosy uh, because uh, uh, earthworms, spiders, uh, uh, dust mites, water bear, uh, uh, so on and so forth, you know, goodness sake, you know, they don't even die, the water bears. Uh, the water bears are sent to the um, space station and then bring back and put water and they bounce back to life and start to uh, wobble around, you know, so, so they don't die. So all kinds of shapes and forms. Uh, so we have been, not only once, countless times. And then, uh, not nice at all, hungry ghost, not nice at all, in hell, we have been countless times. So that way, uh, that way, we have been everything countless times. Uh, uh, now there's so many things to say, uh, but uh, uh, I have no time to be um, funny uh, uh, this time because we have very short time. So otherwise, I love to be funny because it makes me happy when I can say something funny and uh, I can see a little grin in your face and you can't, can't help showing your truth. Even you hide it with doing your best, still it peeps out, you know. So, so, so that, that makes me happy. Uh, but uh, uh, unfortunately, we have no time uh, for that, that luxury uh, this time. Uh, I should remember I'm on a Zoom. You know, I'm on a Zoom, okay? I'm on a Zoom. Okay, so uh, now uh, in this case, uh, in the, uh, so we have been everything. We have been everything. Uh, now uh, the effect of the inner peace of a Buddha Shakyamuni affected beings of all realm, uh, and uh, we all coming from all realm. And uh, we all affect other realms, sentient beings of other realms right now. Mm. Uh, I will say, those of you who are wonderful Dharma practitioners, uh, any animal that come across uh, your way as your house pet, I don't like to say pet, you know, it sounds, it sounds like you are uh, exploiting them to be uh, some, to, to, uh, to, uh, in place of a rag doll. It is not. So you, they become part of your family, your family, family, family member, small ones with lots of hair, with four legs and a tail, you know, so cute. And uh, so, so they are very lucky because, because they are born as an animal, uh, uh, supposed to be, uh, supposed to be lesser than human. Uh, sometimes I'm not very sure uh, because uh, some of the animals uh, seems very, very uh, sincere and uh, truthful and, uh, and uh, also loyal uh, and uh, very uh, appreciative of anybody's kind gesture and also very sensitive. They can feel, they can feel uh, uh, what is going on in your life. Uh, and uh, uh, you, you have some sickness also, they can feel interesting. So any, anyway, we have to spend lots of money and time uh, and uh, so many needles and stuff. Uh, and also, also we have to get, uh, exp we have to be exposed to so many uh, uh, these uh, waves, they say they are harmful. I don't know, but it got to be because when I go to hospital and have x-ray, the doctors and nurses, they wear something like a medieval armor, you know. So then, then, then they click on me and then uh, uh, they, they, they just disappear somewhere and click on me and then they come back and uh, uh, dressed normal. So something has to be pretty bad. But anyway, we have to do all of that to find out. But dogs and cats and house animals, uh, they know, they can smell it, they can feel it. 
so, uh, so uh, they are uh, not 100% lesser than us, but anyway, uh, they all have the Buddha nature. And uh, they are very fortunate to be a part of your life. I don't mean you should go out and get a, get a house, house uh, uh, animal uh, family member right away. I don't mean that, you know. So that's a big responsibility. But if you already have, they're lucky one. Effect of somebody's inner peace realization, that is enormous. And uh, now, uh, no, uh, when we talk about uh, peace, immediately what comes into your mind is world peace. Uh, in my mind, world peace, uh, we are, uh, uh, when we say that, we are remembering, we are having flashbacks from some sources. Uh, we don't remember past, that's what we think, but maybe we do, but we don't know. But anyway, uh, we remember something from some sources, uh, First World War, Second World War, and ongoing uh, conflicts throughout the world. And uh, then uh, uh, to um, overcome all of that, uh, and uh, world without any conflict, uh, that is uh, what we think of as a world peace. But then, when you really look into Lord Buddha's teaching, uh, only go to the first teaching, Four Noble Truth, and uh, the truth of peace, that is cessation. So cessation of what? Cessation of the cause and condition which makes us to have inner conflict, which reflects externally as the outer conflict. Some of us have certain type of karma that uh, uh, we can uh, project our inner conflict and uh, impose it onto others and then uh, make a war and uh, things like that, wage a war and uh, declare a war and things like that. Yes. There is people in our uh, kind, humanity, so many who have that capacity. Uh, uh, some people might say unfortunately, uh, but I will say fortunately. Because fortunately, I and most of you, maybe out there some people who have that capacity, I don't know, but most of you, we have no karma for that capacity. Uh, so, so even you feel so uh, much in rage, uh, maximum that you can do is uh, go to the kitchen and break all the cups and plates. That's maximum things that you can do, you know. And uh, and uh, uh, more than that, then then uh, uh, neighbors will call the police, and you will be behind bar. Uh, forget about uh, uh, making any kind of uh, negative impacts, uh, but uh, you can't even do your regular uh, everyday uh, things. So you will be restrained, you know. Uh, if you don't behave, they might put you uh, inside a straight jacket, so you can't even move your hand. They have to feed you like a baby with spoons uh, because, because uh, they don't want you to grab them and hit them and scratch them. Uh, so, so like this, so that, that, that way we have no uh, uh, privilege, <laughs> Unwant in my case, unwanted uh, privilege. Uh, to uh, cause uh, uh, the disharmony in a big scale. Now, uh, now then, uh, when, when we talk about uh, outer peace, inner peace, and uh, world peace, and uh, universal peace, and universal harmony, uh, inner harmony, all these things, we are talking about the same thing. Uh, what makes us not in harmony? 
is our selfishness, our greed, our hatred, our jealousy, our ego pride. All comes from nothing wonderful. All comes from ignorance. Uh, in order to be jealous, first we have to be ignorant. So we have to be so ignorant, so some of, when some of our friends doing well, we get jealous. You know? So what kind of ignorance does it take for you to be jealous? You can only be jealous to somebody you know, somebody close to you. A family member or friend, uh, you are keen, you get jealous. With strangers, you don't get jealous. Uh, so, uh, so like this. So aggression, all of these things are like that. And greed, for example, greed. It is very, very tricky. Uh, our ignorance is, can become so, uh, so uh, confused and then what will happen? Uh, uh, you want to have something uh, that, will, uh, that will destroy a uh, uh, hundred life, uh, then that's not enough, a thousand life, uh, then that's not enough. 10,000 life, then that's not enough. 1 million life, then that's not enough. You know, if you can, you want to, uh, to wipe out life of all, all of those who you think, who, who you consider your enemy. And you want to wipe them all out at the push of a button, if you can. Don't you think that's terrible? Uh, do you think that's wise? I don't think so. Uh, because uh, every person that you eliminate like that, they will have their friends, their relatives, and their kings. Not only that, all of your friends also will become worried about you. You know, and uh, then after some time, then you might be worried about your own hand because this hand have pressed so many buttons. So this hand is scary, you know. You might have a nightmares about your hand. Your, might, your hand might become like the snakes on the head of the Madonna and uh, try to bite you, you know, so things like that. That can happen. So that way, that way, the, the uh, Ignorance, when it's manifest without, uh, 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 w without wisdom, uh, without uh, mindfulness and awareness, then it can become all kind of things. So that way, uh, the cause and condition that makes uh, what is not the outer peace, that is this ego, this ignorance, this selfishness. So outer peace, inner peace, world peace, harmony, all depends on this. Everything is because of ignorance, the self, the, the ego. Uh, then uh, uh, now, uh, when, when we look into this, if we look into a very sacred word uh, from our sacred teachings, then uh, uh, nature of mind and nature of consciousness and nature of body and nature of all phenomena, all same. Same nature, same essence. There isn't two essence. One is the essence of the mind. One is the essence 
of the of the uh, consciousness one is the essence of the body one is the essence of outside of our body no all is same so uh, keeping that in mind then i can reflect on three things okay the first is essence uh, essence of everything is emptiness okay let me first uh, 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 spell out the three essence of everything is uh, uh, emptiness essence in tibetan is like ngowo uh, or essence of nature ngowo and uh, in sanskrit uh, uh, sab sabavia 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 sounds like french sabavia and uh, so uh, so uh, that that is uh, emptiness and then uh, uh, now uh, the uh, character or rangjin in tibetan uh, character in english uh, character is uh, uh, character is uh, uh, clarity character is clear instead of uh, unclear uh, character is like a wisdom like a clear it is not like a ignorance unclear so clarity uh, then uh, nampa uh, nampa uh, in uh, sanskrit uh, and tibetan I, I think in sanskrit uh, it is uh, a prakar prakar uh, and uh, uh, so uh, way it appears nampa uh, and then uh, uh, nampa is in tibetan mangakpa uh, mangakpa Ngakpa means cessation and not cessation. What is not cessation is ever present. Nampa is ever present. And uh, so in the Sanskrit, uh, anuradha. Anuradha. Nampa is anuradha. So, so di this, this way, ngowo, uh, uh, rangjin, uh, nampa, so three. Of mind, of body, of consciousness, of all outside phenomena, three, three. Ngowo, Rajin, Namba. Emptiness, uh, then uh, 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 nature, uh, uh, characteristics, then uh, uh, where it appears or manifestation. So, three. Uh, now, uh, in this tree, uh, we, uh, we, it, this tree uh, encompasses everything. Uh, when we say, I am practicing Dharma, sacred Dharma, with this robe, then and also with this uh, uh, this uh, kind of uh, 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 way of look way I look, then uh, you have immediately uh, he's a Tibetan he's a Buddhist monk he's a bhikshu uh, all kind of things and then uh, you have uh, uh, some sort of uh, uh, very much hundred percent religious uh, uh, perception and then 100% Asian perception, and 100% uh, uh, then uh, uh, Buddhist. Uh, uh, so so that, that way, uh, it somehow makes you uh, think of this as a something, you know, something. But uh, in essence, it is not. Uh, the Ngowo Rangjin, uh, Nampa of uh, uh, Asian, uh, European, uh, African, uh, American, or earthlings, 
Martians or uh, E.T., you know, uh, alien, uh, everyone is uh, exactly identical. Not only that, of the uh, glaciers of the North Pole, Pole and S South Pole, uh, North Pole doesn't have that much glacier, just ice. Uh, so Greenland and uh, Antarctica have lots of glacier. And glaciers of the uh, 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 Himalayas and uh, uh, Andes and uh, 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 the uh, uh, Caucasus uh, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, European uh, Alps. So uh, everything is same. And uh, uh, the, the surface of the earth, the water, the forest, everything. And the uh, uh, core of the earth, whatever it is, some says big magnet is there, some says big, big uh, magma, uh, very hot uh, center, uh, whatever. Uh, I think uh, uh, something hot is uh, quite clear because uh, 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 if we, if the, uh, if we are hot, we feel hot because we are closer to the sun, then top of the Mount Everest will be very, very hot. Uh, so it is not. And uh, then also in that case, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, plain, uh, some, someone living in a basin will be very, very cold, far away from the sun uh, by several kilometers. And, uh, uh, but it is not hotter there. So therefore, uh, there's, there's some truth there. Uh, but at the same time, uh, that also does not really convince me 100%, because uh, uh, in, the, in the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere, even the sea level uh, gets very, very cold, and sea is frozen, you know? So th th therefore, uh, it doesn't work 100%. And uh, uh, at the same time, uh, being the uh, being a little bit, uh, how do you say, from the childhood, uh, influenced by the geographic, uh, then the highest point on the earth is not the Mount Everest. Actually, highest point on the earth is the middle of the ocean, because the uh, earth have a pot belly. And uh, so uh, the, the fattest part of the pot belly of the earth is the middle of the ocean. There should be several thousand, tens of thousands, two, three times higher than the Mount Everest. Mm, that is the middle of the ocean. So this way, a little bit confusing. Doesn't matter whatever is there, everything that is there, Mowo uh, and uh, uh, Rangjin and uh, Nampa, uh, same. Same Ngowu, same Rangin, same Nampa, okay? And uh, everything. Uh, so uh, then uh, now, uh, I, will, I will jump from here. I will make a really kangaroo jump, you know, very big jump. So an elephant cannot jump that high. Uh, when it comes to jumping, the kangaroo is the master. And uh, when it comes to the, uh, actually, uh, the size, you know, the physical size, uh, the common flea is the champion. Uh, because its common flea can jump really high comparing, uh, comparing to its body height. That will be the number one, and number two will be kangaroo. So, so, so there, I make a big jump, okay. Now, from, uh, from uh, this level of uh, uh, Ngowo, Rangjin, and Nampa uh, to uh, the Ngowo, Rangjin, Nampa of uh, highest uh, Buddha. So how, what is the Ngowo of Buddha? What is the Rangjin of Buddha? What is the Nampa of Buddha? The Ngowo Rangjin Nampa of Buddha. So, it is the same thing, but here we have to make a little bit of uh, specific uh, uh, 
adjustment in the language. Anybody, all the past Buddha, all the present Buddha, and all the future Buddha, all of us, all of you and me, all of us, future Buddha. So we all can be Buddha because of the Ngowo, uh, Rangjin, and Nampa. And we will be Buddha sooner or later. Some of us take more time, some of us take le uh, less time. But time is relative. The scientist Einstein said it and wrote it, time is relative. So, but it is relative, I believe, but then uh, uh, for us, uh, time seems to be uh, uh, quite uh, 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 something. Sometimes we have uh, more than enough time, so we get bored. Uh, sometimes uh, we don't have enough time, we get stressed. You know, sometimes we have so much time for ourselves, we feel lonely. Sometimes we have no time for ourselves, then we feel suffocated, we feel stressed out. So that, that way, it is, uh, it is uh, like that, time is like that. Uh, time is relative, yes. So, the Buddha Shakyamuni of the past, present and future. Uh, I mean, Buddha Shakyamuni of the present and uh, Buddha Dipankara of the past, Buddha Maitreya of the future, immediate and all the others, every single sentient being is Buddha. <clears throat> uh, there must be people whose name is uh, 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 Joan, so Buddha Joan. Uh, then there's some, some, somebody there whose name, na na name is uh, 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 from top of my head, uh, Maria, uh, Buddha, uh, Buddha Maria. Uh, so, uh, so uh, any, anybody uh, with, out there who are candidate of the future Buddha, for sure. And uh, so uh, everybody's Ngowo Rangjin Namba is identical. Uh, then when uh, somebody reach the Buddhahood, then his or her Ngowo become the embodiment of Prajana Paramita, uh, primordial wisdom. That is the uh, essence of emptiness. Uh, when we say emptiness, uh, many people uh, have uh, old baggage of the language. Empty means empty wallet. My goodness, my wallet is empty. I'm in trouble. Uh, em empty cup. Uh, I'm thirsty, but there's no water. My cup is empty. Mm, uh, like that. So not that kind of emptiness. Everything is always open. You know? Uh, therefore, Anything is possible. Uh, nothing is fully occupied, fully doomed. Everything can be and will be transformed a good way or bad way. Anything is possible. That is definition of emptiness. So, uh, 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 so many teachings of Lord Buddha, volumes and volumes. But uh, I will go to a particular uh, four line uh, for, by uh, Nagarjuna. Uh, and uh, in his uh, text, Uma uh, uh, Shirap, he says, uh, uh, 
Techir Tonyi Main Bechu Ngayo Pamaino. So this four line is very, very simple. There's nothing which is not interdependent. Therefore, there's nothing which is not interdependent. Very simple. I just mentioned, I, I'm going real basic, okay? I just mentioned, humanity is 7.8 billion. How did 7.8 billion came about? Interdependent manifestation of mother and father. Can you argue with that? I don't think so. Can you disagree with that? I don't think so. Mother and father interdependent, then out of which 7.8 billion human beings. And that kangaroo jump did not take eons, you know, about, about uh, less than 300 years back. Earth have only 1 billion people. Actually, about 200 years back, Earth have only 1 billion people. Now 7.8. So it didn't take uh, eons. Uh, it just took uh, centuries, uh, just few centuries. Now, this, 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 this way, you know what is emptiness. Now you know. Emptiness doesn't mean nothing is there. Emptiness means nothing is there more than interdependent manifestation of everything else or less than interdependent manifestation of everything else. That is emptiness. Uh, now, that gives us very good uh, uh, next step. Very good. Because I, as a Buddhist, I can't hide my Buddhist identity. You know? So, I, as a Buddhist, I don't want to hide but uh, even I want, I can't hide. What, what am I supposed to do? Uh, so uh, so uh, then uh, I, as a Buddhist, following Lord Buddha's teaching, I supposed to believe every sentient being as a Buddha. How do I do that? They don't look like a Buddha, and many times they don't behave like a Buddha, and they don't even sound like a Buddha many times, although I haven't seen Buddha, I haven't heard Buddha, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, I have uh, my own imagination coming from the lineage. So, they are not. So then, this gives us very, very clear, uh, uh, clear uh, uh, key, uh, uh, enlightening uh, uh, metaphor. Uh, let's say, uh, okay, some other religion whose uh, teaching is totally opposite to Lord Buddha's teaching. Uh, I don't know what it is, uh, but I'm sure there is because uh, uh, there's nothing impossible. I don't believe in impossibility. Anything is possible. Okay, anywhere. Um, if it is not on this earth, in some other universe, it's possible, anything. So, then how can I respect that and appreciate that? Then, th from this, we can appreciate that and we can respect that. Because it is part and parcel of primordial wisdom. Primordial wisdom manifests as a wisdom. Wisdom manifests as a knowledge. Knowledge manifests as an experience. Experience manifests as a guideline. So, if you make a, a simple thing as a Caesar salad, you know, 
Very simple dish, Caesar salad. Uh, I like it very much, but Caesar salad, okay. You can't just say, you know, just say hocus focus Caesar salad. It will not happen, you know. You have to have all the ingredients of the Caesar salad. You have to uh, prepare it uh, like a Caesar salad. You have to have the dressings for a Caesar salad. There's a few, few different dressings for Caesar salad. And uh, then it will look like a Caesar salad, taste like a Caesar salad, and smell like a Caesar salad. And it works like a Caesar salad. Like that. So interdependent. Okay. Now let's put like this. Caesar salad or Russian salad, you know, or, uh, or uh, uh, some other salad, like uh, mm, uh, uh, cucumber salad. Uh, what is the difference? It's just difference of the way it is made. But all is salad. So Caesar salad and cucumber salad is totally two different things. Doesn't taste the same, doesn't look the same, doesn't smell the same. But they are salad. Coming from the same human, human, uh, uh, human uh, uh, effort. And same human knowledge. Same human experience. Uh, our uh, dogs, uh, they are very nice and very dear to us, but we ask them to make a Caesar salad they don't know how to make. I'm almost sure they don't know how to make. Yes, if you put all the ingredients there and then we, we uh, manipulate them to jump around, they will jump around and make it look like a Caesar salad, but we have to pull it together and put it in a clean plate, you know? <clears throat> so so, uh, so that, that way, they don't know, but we know, so through experience, through knowledge, through wisdom. But that comes from primordial wisdom. Does it take a primordial wisdom to make a Caesar salad? Definitely not. But without primordial wisdom, there will be no wisdom. Without primordial wisdom, there will be no knowledge. Without primordial wisdom, there will be no experience. Without primordial wisdom, there will be no ways. So, simple thing, making a plate of Caesar salad, or bowl of Caesar salad, normally it's served in a bowl, and uh, uh, or, or uh, uh, very, very sophisticated, highly specialized brain surgery. You know, in between these, difference is huge. Uh, uh, what goes wrong if you get Caesar salad wrong? And what will go wrong if you get uh, uh, brain surgery wrong? You know, can you compare? Of course not. So, but both of that coming from the same experience, technique, knowledge, wisdom, source and essence of all of that is primordial wisdom. So that way, that way, we make this big jump between uh, uh, just a simple task of a human to the, uh, to the greatest achievement, the Buddhahood, both coming from the same source, Ngowo. Ngowo is emptiness, Shunyata. Emptiness is wisdom. Wisdom source is primordial wisdom. So that way, then we can have a, a, a grasp on it. We know what we are talking about. When we, when can we, when we can make a, a connection to all of this. Otherwise, if we talk about emptiness to somebody, it doesn't make sense.
it almost sounds like something terrible, you know. You, you teach about the emptiness. You're not talking about teaching the fullness. It sounds very unlikely teaching. Your, uh, your wallet is empty. Your account is empty. Terrible. Uh, so you want uh, to receive the Dharma teachings, uh, then your, your bank account will be full and overflowing, right? Your wallet will be full, so that uh, that uh, it will be uh, uh, ready to be ready to burst. So a lucky teaching, uh, not, not that kind of emptiness. Uh, emptiness, shunyata, prajana paramita, very very sacred. But many people don't understand uh, when you say sacred. Uh, they they think sacred means. Uh, out of touch. Uh, something sacred, you have nothing to do with it. Because you consider yourself not sacred. You know, people uh, shy away from sacredness, holiness, all of these. They shy away. Why? Because they don't think they are not sacred. They don't think they are not holy. Uh, they don't think, um, they, they, they think they are not, uh, they are not precious. So, so they, they don't connect with these things. Uh, we are holy. Each and every one of us are equal to Buddha. If Buddha is holy, we are holy. And every single thing, even a piece of rock, or a piece of uh, uh, driftwood, or anything, or a handful of dirt, it is sacred and holy. It is part and parcel of everything. And uh, everything uh, uh, is uh, part and parcel of uh, a primordial uh, uh, wisdom and its manifestation. So, so that, that way, the emptiness, uh, this, uh, uh, the Mowo is uh, uh, very, very uh, uh, basic and uh, important for all of us. So this way, uh, whether it can be like in our, in our world, there's very few religion, very little difference. Christian, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, you know, animism, uh, there's, uh, there, there's few religion, and uh, they're very much similar. Uh, yeah, some wears a white hat, some wears, uh, uh, some wears a colorful hat, some don't wear a hat but lots of hair. Uh, but in, anyway, it's all pretty much the same. And, uh, and uh, some wears long dresses, some wears, uh, uh, some wears, uh, everybody sort of likes to wear ro long dresses, you know. Mm -hmm. So that is very trendy for all the religious uh, practitioners, long dresses. Uh, any, anyway, anyway uh, some, some covers the mouth, some covers the head, some covers the eye. Uh, so so it, it is absolutely uh, similar. Uh, so, so we can't really make that much difference. But one thing that I can make a little bit of difference is those, everybody who believe in something or who don't believe in anything. Like uh, 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 agnostics, uh, like uh, atheists, uh, non-believers, they call themselves. So they don't believe in anything. And then the other part is uh, they believe in something, uh, Buddha or God or some entity in the space or uh, the power of the elements or something they believe. So believers and non-believers. But uh, uh, then uh, uh, if you really go just a little bit, not a kangaroo jump, but a snail's paste, just a little bit, just cross the threshold. Then, you know, you believe in something, you, you believe in nothing. But you believe in, one believe in something, one believe in nothing. Believe is there. Yes? So that way, that way, it is, uh, it is uh, still a belief. 
and uh, uh, I believe in not believe. I believe in not believing in anything. That is also a belief. I don't believe in anything. That is also a belief. I believe in something up there. That is also a belief. I believe in something in here. That is also a belief. When it comes to belief, it's concerned. It is the same. But why? Because primordial wisdom is essence of each and every one. Therefore, when they experience it, then they believe in it. But some exper someone experience it from sort of outside sort of uh, sense. They get sense of coming some, something coming from outside. You know, uh, I have uh, quite few friends who say that they hear voices, but actually they're hearing from their own head. But they hear voices, then they think it's coming from outside, you know. So they believe in something outside. And uh, then some believe in insight, inner, inner essence. I don't have to have anything coming from outside. I have everything inside. Only thing that I have to come from outside is my food, my water, and my clothes. That I have to come from outside. And my shelter, that I have to come from outside. Uh, these are not very important, but quite essential, because without that, I will die, you know. Uh, not very big deal, but I will die. So therefore, therefore uh, these things are essential. But most important thing is my inner peace and my inner uh, 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 life. And that is from within. That is insight. So uh, primordial wisdom is uh, the source of all of this. Believing, non-believing, outside, inside, everything. So, so there, uh, this. And now I wanted to uh, draw a conclusion, but uh, I want to draw a conclusion by describing uh, certain uh, teachings of uh, uh, Naropa. Uh, so, so uh, uh, Telopa, sorry, some certain teachings of Telopa. Uh, when uh, Telopa uh, encountered uh, somebody uh, who uh, does not believe in inner potential, but uh, uh, but uh, uh, it was a he. So he believed in uh, outer uh, influence only. So uh, he don't believe in awakening from within, but uh, something is gifted from outside and uh, uh, given to you from outside. So, so when somebody like that he encountered, so he, he uh, uh, taught them a very simple uh, uh, a few points. Uh, first is, uh, uh, now, if you wanted to look, Look, you know, look. Uh, look at the uh, ultimate, ultimate truth. Uh, primordial essence, primordial wisdom. That's what he's talking about. So anyway, if you wanted to look deep, you look with the eyes of the blind. You know? So what does it mean? So eyes of the blind means the mind's eye. Mind's eye, the highest and most profound aspect of mind's eye, is non-duality. So if I try to see the ultimate truth as an object, and me as a subject who wanted to see it, and through the means of my physical eye, as a form, I will never see it. Because there is no one particular form. 
Having said that, all forms are the form of the ultimate truth. All forms are the forms of ultimate truth. You already see. So you wanted to see the essence of it, then you have to use the deeper eye, the eye without duality, the eyes of the blind. So I hope you get it. If you don't get it, then I'm making you more confused. So that is not my intention, okay? So anyway, uh, so this is what Telopa say. For me, this is fantastic because I get a lot from this. Then, now, uh, then he say, uh, if you uh, wanted to, if you feel thirst, thirsty, uh, uh, then uh, uh, you drink the water of the mirage. You know, mirage. If you are in a desert where there's no water, then you can see uh, some sort of water and some sort of lake and some sort of oasis in the distance. And you go, 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 and you find nothing. So that's how so many animals and so many people die in the desert because they think there is water and there's, not, there's no water. It is illusion, mirage. So if you are thirsty, if you wanted to quench the, thir quench the thirst of wisdom, if you want the knowledge, very simple, you go and learn. You open a book, you go to a library, you attend a lecture, you will learn. But you, if you really wanted to quench the thirst of wisdom, then you drink the water of the mirage. Because the true drink is the nectar. Nectar is not something there physically like a water, but it is there as the essence of everything. And mirage is not a water, but the heat of the sun, the light, and the heat of the desert and the air in between, which are actually the source of the water. So mirage is water in the making. You know, water in a large scale. You see uh, 100 kilometers of uh, uh, water making uh, interdependent manifestation. Uh, on the horizon of the hot desert, especially when you are really thirsty. And uh, uh, then, then you are really seeing the water, but not the water that we can drink in our hand. So drink the water of the mirage. Yes. So nectar, he's talking about the nectar, the essence of everything. That is ne ne nectar. Then, uh, then uh, the uh, Telopa says, uh, uh, if your mind get uh, 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 scattered, uh, like uh, uh, you are not able to uh, concentrate, because uh, we all influenced by our habits and uh, influenced by our defilements, then we are ineffective. It is, uh, it is uh, mm, uh, lack of focus, uh, lack of uh, 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 coordination. So we become ineffective, inefficient. Our efficacy uh, is down. So, so we are not able to concentrate. So when this happens, uh, then he say, fill the vase, you know the vase, fill the vase with the air. What does that mean? Actually, 
uh, uh, there's, there's a deeper meaning to it, but very basic meaning is we don't have to do anything, but we just breathe properly. He say, he say, uh, fill the vase with the air. So, uh, so uh, when we are not able to calm down, then what happens is the uh, capacity of our mind and our body become uh, uh, inefficient. As, uh, so as a result of that, then worldly things or spiritual things or very important things or just uh, unimportant things uh, we cannot accomplish. So therefore, we should uh, uh, conserve our energy and channel it properly. So uh, the deeper meaning is very deep, but uh, surface meaning is uh, calm down and breathe properly. So, uh, so this is what, they, what that means. Uh, then uh, uh, at the same time, uh, uh, same time, uh, the last one, uh, the telopa says, I, the telopa, is uh, free of all fear. That means he's fearless. He's not bragging, you know. So what does that mean? So if you wish to see the truth, ultimate truth, and if you wish to attain the liberation of your primordial potential, and in today's, uh, relating to today's subject, if you wish to uh, attain inner peace, then you have to, uh, uh, you have to have this transformation and you have to evolve this from the physical eye to the mind's eye, from the dualistic eye to the non-dualistic eye, the same way about everything else. Then you have no fear because you are part and parcel of uh, everything. Uh, if you are afraid of a wild lion, if you are lion, you will not be afraid of wild lion. If you are afraid to fall into the deep space, but if you are part and parcel of the space, and if space is part and parcel of you, you will not fall off anywhere. So, ultimate essence of everything and everyone is interdependent, interconnected. So, because of that, Telopa have no fear. Telopa will not drown in the water. Not because he have a magic, but Telopa and water are same. Telopa will not be burned by fire, not because he have some kind of trick. You know, like those uh, uh, magicians, they, they have some trick and uh, they don't get burned. Uh, for a few minutes, they don't get burned. Mm, so not like that. He and, he and Telopa and fire are part and parcel. Telopa will not be squashed. Even the Mount Miru is uh, put on him because he is part and parcel of the Mount Miru. Uh, or uh, uh, any other example. You know, uh, you can say uh, engine of a big freight train. Mount Miru is, uh, nobody know where is Mount Miru. So, uh, so uh, let's say in Europe, you have uh, uh, Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc. So Mont Blanc is very big, very heavy. So if Mont Blanc is put on Tilopa, 
Telopa will not become flat because Telopa and Mont Blanc are same and one. Okay, so 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 th that way, and uh, Telopa uh, will not be eaten by a uh, uh, European dragon. You know, you have lots of European, lo lots of dragon history. Asia also have lots of dragon history, but Europe have so much. Every emblem of every country have a dragon on it, with wings, without wings, all kind of dragons. So, so Telopa will not be afraid of dragon because he is part and parcel of a dragon. So, like that. That is the definition of uh, no fear. It doesn't mean he is so dumb that he don't know how to be afraid. It's like people uh, uh, in in the coronavirus, uh, uh, you know, world uh, refuse to wear mask and go into the uh, into all kind of places and uh, catch themselves the disease and spread disease to other people. Not that kind of fearlessness, you know. That is not fearlessness. That is just absolutely uh, 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 stubborn, or, or absolutely irresponsible, or something else, you know, which uh, I cannot wrap my head around it. Uh, I'm here in this place, this uh, small monastery of about 10 acres, uh, in this wall, I'm here for past almost seven months. Uh, so not because uh, uh, I'm that afraid, but you know, uh, I don't want to get sick and I don't want to spread sickness to anybody. Very simple. Mm, so like this. And so, so that way, the fear is there. But when you and the coronavirus are one, then Coronavirus definitely not wearing mask. I'm quite sure, right? So 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 that that way. But that is very bad example. But I think bad examples are very good way to explain because bad things uh, we we can relate to very easily most of the time because we are not enlightened yet. We are not Buddha yet. If you don't know how to relate to bad things, that means that means you are not Buddha, but you are some sort of going on that direction because uh, before the uh, aeroplane takes off, you know, it has to make lots of noise and lots of shaking and lots of struggle and very dangerous actually, it can explode. So really, really uh, uh, a crucial moment. And there you become more dualistic. And, uh, and so when we become a little bit more dualistic about good things, then, then uh, we don't know how to relate to bad things. Uh, but then when we take off in the sky, when we reach quite far, then there's no uh, discrimination between rich and poor, uh, healthy and unhealthy, uh, medicine and disease, all of these things. So that is what we call Siddha. Mm, but uh, we don't have it. So a little bit of water is very good. But too much water, we get drowned. Little bit of fire is very good. We can cook our bread in Europe. We can cook our rice in Asia. Uh, um, uh, we can cook uh, uh, also a potato in in West. Many countries uh, like potato. Uh, and uh, over here, rice and uh, uh, flour. Uh, so 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 that that way, very good. But too much fire, no good. We will burn our house down. So, so, so too much fire, no good. So we are at that level. In that level, then inner peace uh, uh, and uh, individual peace is uh, quite attractive and quite wise. But, uh, but uh, when we reach uh, uh, above, we will go above the inner peace, then outer peace the universal peace, it becomes a reality. And uh, now one last thing. So what about 
after enlightenment, you know, when Buddha reach enlightenment, when, when you reach enlightenment and become Buddha, then how does everything work? Does it work the same way? Uh, the Ngowo, uh, the Rangjin, and the Nampa, the same way or not? Of course, the same way, of course. But, uh, but uh, its uh, level is uh, primordial. So, when, we become the, when you become the Buddha, you are uh, absolutely beyond any limitation because, because Buddhahood is not result of cause and condition. Buddhahood is beyond interdependent manifestation. Up to the last moment of Buddhahood, everything is interdependent manifestation. Yes, guru, disciple, uh, practice, uh, perseverance, uh, dexterity, uh, all kind of uh, dedication and motivation and so much, up to a certain, certain level. But uh, uh, beyond that, then it is above that. So it is uh, directly not connected to any cause and condition. So because of that, then it is primordial. Uh, if I have to choose a word between is the Buddhahood permanent or impermanent, I cannot say Buddhahood is impermanent, then you become Buddha, work very hard for so many lifetime, and finally reach Buddhahood, then impermanent, then you again become a sentient being in the samsara, then, then uh, it sounds uh, 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 quite something. It is not like that. But cannot say permanent. Why? Why I cannot say permanent is the same reason why I cannot say it is impermanent. Buddhahood, I cannot say impermanent. You understand that. But I cannot say permanent. The same reason why I cannot say permanent. Because permanent is opposite of impermanent. And permanent is same limited, limitation of the permanent is same as limitation of the impermanent. Therefore, it is limitless, beyond any limitation. So, we cannot say impermanent. And I am itching to say it is permanent, but I can't say it because I know it is slightly sounds better, but same as saying impermanent. So, so, uh, so, uh, uh, so because of that, it is, uh, uh, it, uh, it is eternal. It is for all sentient beings. It is with no limitation. And then, then you will say, Buddha's activity, teaching of Dharma, first teaching, second teaching, third teaching, all manifestation, all the Sambhogakaya, Nirmanakaya, what about all of them? Of course, they manifest, but they are spontaneous manifestation. In Tibetan word, Lunji Tupa, Lunji Tupa means spontaneous manifestation. How can that be? What is their cause and condition for that? Then I have to come back. I have to make a kangaroo jump backwards. Okay? And then I say sort of cause and condition there. Why? How? When you are not Buddha, but you wish to be Buddha, you have taken Bodhisattva vow. You say, I 
wish to liberate all mother sentient beings from the ocean of suffering of samsara. You have taken that vow. And when you reach the Buddhahood, as the result of that original vow, then you will manifest whatever is beneficial to others. When the disciples are ready for very basic teaching, Buddha manifest teachings like Four Noble Truth. Then when disciples are a little bit more evolved, then Buddha manifests teachings like Six Paramita. Then when disciples are highly evolved, then Buddha manifests teachings like transformation of five poisons into five wisdom, like trans the, the teachings of three kayas, like that. So it manifests. From Buddha's side, there's no such thing as a, as a uh, uh, dualistic effort. It is spontaneous. But from the recipient side, yes. Because somebody who don't even have the basic understanding of the suffering of samsara, if you teach them, uh, if, if you teach them uh, the, there's no difference between saf, samsara and nirvana, you know, then they will just, uh, just uh, go on with their own rubbish things. I mean, don't mean rubbish, uh, sorry. Uh, their own uh, habitual things <laughs> and uh, uh, never evolve. They will never evolve. So, uh, therefore, therefore, the first basic teachings are manifest, of course. But it is not uh, Buddha thought about it. And Buddha hesitated whether I say this or not. And they finally made up the mind and said it, not like that. So this way, Buddha's manifestation is spontaneous. How does it manifest is because of the original motivation. And uh, Buddhahood itself is not result of any cause and condition. But up to a certain state, it is. Up to a certain state, it is. Uh, so uh, that way, uh, what is uh, a inner peace? Uh, then, uh, now one last thing. Uh, I want all of you uh, to uh, sincerely believe in yourself that uh, you all have the uh, uncorruptible, you all have the uncorruptible primordial wisdom as your essence. What you have to do is very simple. You have to let it function. Not by delusion, you know. There's people who think, uh, 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 who, who think uh, they are this, they are that, you know. That is delusion. Not that. But if you just calm down and relax, then when these layers of things First layer is a very mundane thing, your stress, your memory of, uh, of uh, all of these habits. Somebody did something, somebody said something uh, like this, like that, you know, so many things. If you are a tall person, somebody said you are a giraffe, you know, uh, then, then that really sticks in your head. And if somebody is short, uh, then, then, then that, uh, somebody says uh, you are a midget, that sticks in your head. And uh, anything like that, you know, if you are tall, no good, if you are short, no good, if you are fat, no good, if you are thin, no good, if you are rich, no good. They will, if you are rich, they will say you are filthy dirty, fi fi filthy rich, mm, that's no good. 
And if you are poor, they say you are, you are dirt poor. That hits you. That's not good. So all of these kind of things sticks in your head. And then so many other things uh, influenced by and uh, fueled by your attachment, anger, jealousy, pride, all, all of this, and other people's attachment, anger, jealousy, pride, all of these things. So all of these things are very, very, very uh, mingled up. And as a result of that, you have so much layers of, uh, I call it, stress and com confusion and neurosis. So when you just sit down and relax. So, so sometimes it takes long time. Sometimes it doesn't take much time. It depends on so many things. We have no time to discuss about those things at this point. So these layers, you just overcome one by one. Just like onion, you know. When you peel an onion, uh, you, ru you have a ri little runny nose and a, a runny eye, but uh, onion is emptiness inside. So you just peel, peel, peel. So all of these layers uh, fall off. Then deep inside there, you can feel this, uh, uh, this uh, 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 ineffable, uh, uncorruptible, uh, perfect, stillness, richness, profound essence. You can see it, you can feel it. You can see it with the eye of the blind. You can hear it with the ear of the deaf. You know, you can speak about it the tongue of, with the tongue of the mute. So like that. So, so that, that you will experience. So that way, then you know what is the source and potential of inner peace. And then how much further you want to go is up to you. You know, uh, in Theravada level of practice, to reach Arhathut, which is Nirvana, I think it takes around 15, 20, 30 years of absolutely following all the precepts and, and uh, uh, practicing shamatha and vipassana day, day in and day out, day and night. Even in your sleep, your mind remains at peace. And zero belongings, zero attachment, zero anger, zero jealousy, zero ego pride. So this, when you achieve this, then all the karmas are transformed also. Because everything is a result of karma. So when the result is purified, the cause is purified as well. And further karma does not uh, commit. So this way, it takes about uh, 15, 20, 30 years. And if you ask me, I am not pursuing that. Okay? Uh, it doesn't mean it does not worth pursuing. Of course, it is a, it is a great, great uh, essence of Lord Buddha's teaching. And, and, but uh, uh, I personally think one way, it is so easy, so comfortable to pursue that. Another way, it will be so hard and so difficult to pursue that. So there is, a, there is a, almost a schizophrenic, you know, uh, uh, manifestation there. Easy as well as difficult at the same time. It's a paradox, but it is. And uh, during the time of Buddha Shakyamuni's uh, 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 manifestation on earth, uh, that time there was uh, thousands and thousands of arhat. I don't know nowadays there is or there is not. I don't have that kind of wisdom I to see and discriminate. But with my, uh, my uh, dualistic mind, uh, then uh, I don't see. Uh, you know, any arhat in me or any arhat in others, uh, I don't see that. Uh, 
uh, but that is my problem. That is not Arhat's problem. Okay, uh, so uh, then Bodhisattva, uh, then 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 uh, uh, become a Mahasiddha, and then reach a Buddhahood. All of this is uh, uh, based on that first step. First step is you have to be, you have to reach the Arhat hood. Okay. So, uh, therefore, uh, you all should at least experience that uh, perfect uh, potential of, deeper essence of, peace of mind. You should experience it. Then it will stay with you, definitely. Yes. And uh, then how much you wanted to pursue uh, further from there is up to you. Okay? All the best. Uh, today is the last of the three uh, teachings that I have conducted at the, at the wishes of everybody, of course but uh, at the request of uh, Palpung, Ireland. And uh, so uh, I talked a little bit more today uh, because this is the conclusion. And I hope uh, your timing is not uh, messed up with me talking a little longer. But anyway, my intention is good, I tell you. Uh, so, I wish you all my best and take good care of your physical health. And right now, I think most of you have limitation in your physical health capacity, just like me. I am not a Mahasiddha, so I can catch coronavirus, yes. And many other things. So, be very careful. And uh, then do your best to use every moment of your life for a deeper purpose. Last two times I talked about uh, other, other subjects. And uh, today's subject is uh, uh, connected. So meaningful life and uh, uh, then uh, what is freedom and then uh, inner peace today, so they are connected. And uh, uh, I'm happy uh, that uh, I managed to do this, at least this much for you. Uh, but it is not coming from me. <clears throat> of course it's coming from me, uh, at, in a certain, up to a certain extent. But the essence is coming from all of my gurus. Their wisdom, their compassion that resonates through my sincere words. Okay? And then their wisdom and their compassion resonates. Their masters, their gurus, uh, uh, compassion and wisdom. And that resonates the compassion and wisdom of Buddha Shakyamuni and all the enlightened ones who followed that. So it is from everyone. And uh, I'm just a uh, servant of Buddha and servant of all the masters who I represent. And uh, then follower of all of my guru. Okay, so all the best. Buddha bless you, Buddha bless you, and Buddha bless you. But if there is anybody, who, who, everyone that I see here, I know all of you are Buddhists, that I know. But if there is anybody listening who are not here, uh, because these days this te technology reaches uh, very far, uh, so, uh, anybody who does not believe in Buddha, absolutely fine. If you believe in being a good human being, having a, uh, having a positive potential, and uh, uh, having uh, the potential of love and compassion 
and wisdom and believe in the truth, whatever it is, believe in the truth truthfully, then that is perfect. So that bless you. Okay? And believe in any God or any other uh, supreme beings, you believe, fine. So that, that bless you. Okay. Let us make a simple dedication for the enlightenment and in today's case, inner peace of all mother sentient beings. And especially in today's world, outer peace as well. Outer peace is very, very, very important because uh, uh, so many people will not even learn about the inner peace and the outer peace and uh, they will have no time to do so because uh, uh, potential of uh, uh, the uh, 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 destruction of today's uh, conflict in this world is uh, uh, uncomparable to anything of the past. In medieval days, you know, people running around with sword and shield and spears and then at best uh, bows and arrows and then after that at best you know, crossbows and then after that meanest just uh, Cannon balls, you know, uh, so so mm, you can you can dock it, you can uh, uh, you can move away from it. It's so big and coming pretty slow. I don't know how slow it is, but big ca cannon balls don't even go straight, go up and fall down. So so you you can you can uh, run away from it, but nowadays. Uh, really, 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 uh, very, very uh, deadly. So we pray that the world will have uh, a relative and uh, outer uh, uh, peace also. We shouldn't be just busy about uh, inner peace uh, and uh, then forget about the outer peace and then, then we will be in pieces before reaching the inner peace. Okay, so we pray for that. Yeah. Osanam de Yetam Jezebani, Tomne, Yeb, Danam Pamjen, Jagan, Jeb, Balaban Truba, Sibian Solen, Dova Dora Shon, Jambalapavi, Chitara Chambata, Kundu Zambo, Teyang Tejin, Teda, Kunji Jesu Dalov Jin, Gawan, the Datam Jerab to Mo, Sanje, Kusum Nevich, Lapta. Tuni Mindur Dembech, Lapta, Gendun Michin Dumbech, Lapchi, Chetap Moa Malam Drubber Shu, Jina, Dewa Tosung, Pendian Namka Chaparishu, Duna, Dunghar Dagi, Kur, Kova, Dunghar Jamso, Tongbar Shu, and Bender Sato, Samaya, Manu Palai, Bender Sato Tinopa, Tita, and Dito Mebo, Suto Kayo Mebo, Supochayo Meb. Anorato me bawa sarvasi de metaya tsa sawakama suta me tsitam shiriya kuru hung ha 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 ho bagaven sarva tatangata benzer mahami munza benzer bawa maha samaya satwa ah.